Hello everyone, I promised you that I will show you how to color the image like I did in this uh, card using the Autumn Splendor stamp. Uh, actually this branch from the, I believe it's branch, from the stamp set. First you will need um, to stamp your image. I stamped it with uh, early espresso ink and you will need the ink pads with the colors you would like to use. I'm using Old Olive, More Mustard, and Cajun Craze. As well, you will need Q-tips because we are coloring with Q-tips. First, I start from the middle of the, the center part of the leaves and I color it with Old Olive. You can just take your Q-tip and rub it on an ink pad to pick up some color and you can just start coloring. I usually do it with circular motions because I find that the colors blend the most when you apply them with circular motions. As well, I'll color the stem with old olive. And you don't need to worry about the color going out of the lines because after this we'll just cut the image and using dimensionals we'll adhere it to the layer of the card. So, we're almost done with the old olive. And then the next color will be more mustard. Just blend it with the whole olive and go more towards the end of edges of the leaves. And then I will color the edges of the leaves with Cajun Craze. So I guess this was too, too dark. Too much color. We're pretty much done. If you go, we can, can go again and add some more color. I'll add some more, more mustard to get more intense color on those four leaves. The, this one is pretty, the Cajun Craze is pretty, the colors are pretty intense and dark. But I'll add some little bit more mustard on the other side of it. So it kind of evens out. And add more mustard to the other leaves. And you don't need to be afraid to apply more pressure. And you can add some more old olive if you want until you get the look you like or until you're satisfied with how your image looks like. So I think I'm done with this one. So the next step will be just uh, taking your paper snips and cutting the image out and then like this. Then I use the dimensionals to give it some dimension to adhere it to the layer. So that was it. Pretty easy, pretty, at least for me, fun. I hope you enjoyed it and tomorrow I will show you how to do the partial embossing using the polka dots, uh, perfect polka dots embossing folder. Thanks for watching!